Hey, welcome back to my Minimax channel, um, where you get to uh, watch me build a Minimax 1100R with a half VW modification. Um, so you saw in the last episode, we got uh, we, we got it sitting on its wheels. Um, I tested the big washers back here on the tail wheel assembly, and um, actually it. Uh, it did make a huge improvement. And when I put them on, I, I actually noticed that um, the top of the tube here, uh, the top of the tube right here under this washer is actually not flat. It has a little hump in it. And so I think that's what I'm feeling when I'm trying to turn it. It's not smooth, it kind of catches and then goes. So I'm gonna take that apart here in a bit and uh, make sure that's nice and flat and so I think that'll that'll make a that'll make a huge difference so um, so where we left off was we were we were putting the uh, getting the bearings in place so we can actually get the uh, uh, so we can get the aileron yoke mounted where it goes and um, I've got a uh, I wanted to show you found this um, Ryobi makes this really cool extension um, for for your drill um, where it's actually flexible and all you, you just hold this end and it turns the screw here super cool um, very very <laughs> very useful especially in a situation like this because um, you really can't get a drill down in there um, the reason I need a drill is because you know how the wood it kind of expands and contracts well they uh, those those bolts fit nicely through there at one time but now they're a little bit tight so um, anyway I'll just get them through with the uh, drill here and then we can get moving on with getting this collar here um, attached on the back and get everything situated and yeah so uh, I'm like jabbering on when uh, I could be working so all right let me do that <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, uh, I'm going to measure across the uh, fuselage here. And I'm going to get the uh, center line on the top support here. And then I'll take my uh, square. Well, it's probably easier to show you than to tell you. So um, let me get a measurement here. I don't think I know what it is, but. Twenty-three and seven eighths, which is what I expected it to be. Twenty-three and 
just a little quick math here. So that's 23.875 divided by 2 is um, 11.973. All right, so that should be 11 and 15 sixteenths. So we'll check that out here. Needed my tools on. 11 and 15 16 is 1116. Check it this way. And then 15 16. It's exactly center right there. have a center line let me show you here so I already have a center line on the control board right there so all I got to do is uh, to do is take this and put this on this line right here and then align this to that this center line and then once I have that then I'm in uh, I'm in the right position to I'm in the right position to go ahead and um, drill these two holes here. Now the other thing I want to do before I do that is I need to make sure that my stick is actually completely centered. So I'll measure off the uh, sidewall here and um, find its center position. And then I can do that exercise again down there, making sure the yoke center line is aligned with the seat center line. And then I'll um, kind of clamp it and get a couple holes started. We'll take it to the drill press to finish those, um, but we'll, uh, we'll get them started there anyway. And that'll give me a good way to kind of match everything up and, and get everything uh, um, aligned and drilled and then we have to come in here and we'll figure out how we're going to drill these two for the collar so um, yeah uh, sweet let me uh, <laughs> I was, sorry I like drifted off into deep thought in like that so <laughs> um, all right so I'm going to get uh, uh, some measurements for this uh, stick. I'm just going to measure off each side. Well, just make sure we're centered up for the stick itself, and then um, then we'll get the uh, we'll get on to the next step here. All right, I'll crack myself up sometimes. All right, so the stick is centered now, and I basically I just measured uh, from the side wall to the edge of my bracket here. I got it equal on both sides, so I'm going to make a uh, I'm going to make a quick mark as to where that's located um, right here next to my bearing block um, on both sides just so I don't lose track of it um, so that 
will help me keep in case I knock it or something. I'll be able to easily relocate it. Uh, so I've got that, and uh, now I'll center up the uh, yoke again. And I want to get a, a clamp ready. So I think I'm just going to have to use a couple of light pressure clamps, uh, maybe even just one. That one's too small. Let's try this one. There we go. That'll do. Well, the next important thing to do when I drill this is to make sure that it's sitting uh, tight against the bearing block and that way I know it's square. And I can kind of see at the face here that it's um, square to the face of the uh, seat support. Um, so, it's gonna require just a touch of pressure there. Now, we just need to make sure that we're still square to our line this way. just a little bit. That's it right there. Looking straight down the line. Now get a 3 16th bit in the drill. And I'm just gonna double check my double check my measurements, make sure nothing's moved here. Eleven and three sixteenths to the outside. We're still good there. All right. So what we're gonna do now? Uh, we've, we've got our uh, tube here, and. All we have to focus on is I'm going to come to the other side and this is another way of making sure that it stays square. It's going to be easy to find my find my spot. Uh, it'll be easy to find obviously the holes that I pre-drilled are are deep enough where it'll be very the drill fall right in there. What I'm going to do here, and I, I know this is a lot of steps, um, but I think it's really important. So it's worth the effort to walk through this uh, carefully. Uh, first of all, it's just, you know, none of these materials are inexpensive. So um, I don't want to ruin any, and I don't want to start over for sure. So if I get this clamp just slightly tight, but enough where I can move this around, um, what I'm interested in doing here, I need to flip it around actually. Got it going the wrong way. Uh, can't. That's not good. Uh, here we go. Let's just hold it there. So I'm going to adjust it until I can fall into my hole. You notice when I do that, I can, I can, I can drill this off angle pretty easily. So all I'm trying to do is just get it where it falls perfectly centered in there, which is right there. And then I'm gonna hold that 
and I'm gonna come around this side and I'm gonna kind of eyeball this to make sure that I'm make sure that I'm centered on the tube here sometimes when you think something is close it's oftentimes better to make it off center intentionally and then work your way back That appears to be right on, so. All right, let's drill a hole here. move forward to the next one and I can't quite do that so I gotta go this way I believe yep gotta go this way See how far that can be out. Um, I mean, I can see that with my eyes, so I know I know it's out. right on. So I've got everything uh, back in here, and this looks uh, this looks really good. It's nice and flush to the front edge of this. It, it, everything is centering up just like it should. Um, I've got the uh, thrust collar um, on here, and I just made a little made a couple marks as to where that actually goes. So just inside the inside the holes there. So now I'm I'm hoping that uh, since I um, this could be drilled here if I if I rotate the stick this way and then I line up with my mark I could drill that hole on each side with a long drill bit um, 3 16 is not one I have so I have a long quarter and a long eight but not a 3 16 but I believe if I uh, if I take it out of here and I uh, center punch that um, and uh, drill through the tube I should be able to get uh, get that where it belongs and I may even drill it um, with the uh, with the tube uh, with the collar in place so um, yeah let me uh, let me pull that out again and uh, it's like you go backwards and then forwards and then backwards and then forwards but that's kind of how this process goes so all right I'm gonna get that uh, taken care of here and then we'll get that thrust collar in and get that uh, bolted through for now and make sure everything is still nice and nice and tight all right 
Hey, look at this, hey. That was actually my, uh, my friend, uh, Robert Patrincic and his brother, Bloss. If you don't watch these guys, um, uh, they build and fly RC planes together. I'm gonna link their channel here. I just love watching, I started watching them when they had like a thousand subscribers and now they have like 40,000. But to see uh, two brothers um, uh, flying together and enjoying each other so much, uh, it's just, it's definitely worth a watch if you've never seen their channel. But uh, as Robert would say, what do we have here? The beautiful and sexy, iconic, Minimax Warbird with the sexy red seat and the control stick with the sexy, now dirty, red handle. <laughs> anyway, you'll see. You'll see what I mean. Um, they're from Slovenia. They're just great to watch. So, Robert, if you see this, sorry, man. I had to, I had to do it. All right. Well, I'm going to... Today's the day. I mean, today I'm getting in for the very first time. So... Uh, I've got about 20, 25 pounds of air in the, uh, in the um, tires, and I'm just going to toss my phone up here, and so uh, I'm going to put this on the tripod, and I'm climbing in, so... Dirty. I don't really care. I'm getting in anyway. What can you say about that? This makes me so, so happy to be, to be climbing in. And uh, my instrument panel will be about right here. And so I want to get a, uh, I want to get a look at that. I'm just gonna kind of set that up in here. Yeah, like that's gonna be just absolutely perfect. Uh, stick feels great. I think probably neutral will be in the right spot. We'll see. Uh, Michael, I know you said yours, you had to push really forward to, uh, on yours. Um, but this is very, very, very comfortable. So I got the, I'm gonna use the seat cushion because when I get the um, throttle and stuff positioned and mounted, uh, I just wanted to make sure I had it in my possession so that I could make sure I'm at the right height and everything. You know, I'm not, uh, not crowded here. I got, I got nice room. Um, just for reference, I weigh 170 pounds. Uh, so if you're looking at this thinking, how would you fit in? Uh, I'm 5'8 and 170 pounds. And now I'm gonna hop out and move the, uh, well, first I'm gonna take a couple of selfies. All right, so uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and uh, checking out the video. Um, it was a really big day, and I was kind of making half VW putt 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 sounds in the cockpit. wasn't on camera, but um, <laughs> it was kind of uh, it was just so cool to to finally finally climb in, and you know you feel how solid this thing really is once you uh, once you get in it. It's just uh, 
I mean, it's just rock solid. So, um, so the control stick is all, it's in great, great shape. Um, nice and smooth. Um, it's just a, just a tiny bit of play in the bearings there. Not very much really. Um, just a minuscule null zone. So that's, uh, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, just super, super excited about that. So, um, as, uh, as always, hey, I'll, uh, I'll catch you later.